Yo, what is up people? Welcome back to some more of Hopeless Adventures. This is the second episode in the series. If you guys haven't seen the first, make sure to check it out. It'll be linked down below. But uh, a fair few things have happened since the last episode. I managed to make my way out of the kind of Mesa Grand Canyon area. And we've kind of, we bumped into a swamp. And uh, then I saw this mountainous area. And I was really running out of food bad. I've just been kind of living off mushroom stew, that sort of thing. Um, so I kind of took pilgrimage over here and uh, set up a tiny little base just for the night time because there are a lot of mobs hanging about but uh, now we've got our health back looks like the rain has stopped but I'm gonna keep picking up loads of mushrooms uh, because I have not found any mobs and that's been the worst thing I did die I I've just been exploring really it's such a huge server I haven't really even scratched the surface but uh, so many different things to see and find and it's an absolutely awesome place to live in and to explore but I'm gonna grab Grab the rest of these mushrooms and uh, make myself some more stew. Did see a slime around here, but uh, I don't think we're hunting slime just yet. We kind of want to find a, an area that would be perfect to build in. I did see one back there that was pretty cool, but uh, there's a lot of places that have got no mobs. They're really nice places to build, but they've got no mobs really. Um, and I kind of need to set up, set up somewhere where I can have like a staple kind of food source and uh, a, a few different things, you know, things that we require like water and that sort of thing. But, I'm going to go and uh, grab my... Can't even, okay, it's here, it's here. I was wondering where my home was. I'm going to go and grab my uh, crafting bench and also my furnace. And then we're going to head out, explore a little bit more. And uh, hopefully this episode we're going to find a nice little area that we can build in. Okay, let's head over here. Have a little look around and uh, see if we can find anything funky. This looks pretty cool. There's kind of like a mountain over here. The Mesa is just back over there. Not too far away at all. You can probably see it if I, uh, if I increase my um, chunk render distance. I want to kind of see, see our options in this area. I don't want to head too far away. This all looks pretty cool. It's kind of a forest. I don't want to build right in the middle of a forest because it would just kind of... You know, your house is quite hidden if you build in a big area like that. But uh, let's head up to the top of here. See what we can see. It's, uh, it's a mountain like we found in the first episode, but it seems a little bit different. Okay, so look, you can basically see the, the biome down here. But those are all those custom trees. It looks pretty cool. Let's hop up here. Let's see if we can find anything else. I do need to make myself some more mushroom stew. Okay, yeah, so you can see the Mies are just there. So if we do need to go and get clay, uh, that wouldn't be too hard to go and get. Okay, so the mountain just got a bit higher. I'm going to have a look in this direction, see if there are any cool little places. Okay, so there's a forest here separating us from the Mies side. Could you imagine how cool it would be to build a bridge over here? That would be next level awesome. That's pretty much... A sheer cliff face. That would be awesome to do some pixel art in or something like that. This is quite a cool area, you know. But I'm not going to make a decision too quickly. I want to have a look around. Uh, I'm going to quickly place this down. Make myself some more stew. Put these bowls. See how many I can get. There we go. That's quite a lot. That should be enough for a while. I'm going to break this. And uh, yeah, let's just have a look over the other side. See if we can find anything else funky. But this uh, this all looks pretty cool. A lot of stuff to see and to do. I want to see if, if this side has any potential. That side was the swamp, so that would give us good access to kind of slime. And uh, there's some water over there if we need it. Doesn't look like there's any water down here. That is one thing that's kind of scarce. Um, in certain places, because these biomes are so big, you can kind of go a thousand blocks almost without finding any water. So, one thing we need to bear in mind when building. Okay. So this, for me, I think this is like the perfect area. I think this looks absolutely great. And we could kind of build a wooden shack that incorporates all of this. That would be great. But the only thing is water and animals. Hmm. I guess we could go mining, could just go and grab a water bucket 
and then bring some water over potentially this is a pretty cool area though you know what I'm gonna head down we're gonna see see if we can find anything awesome see if we can just find we want to find a little bit of water that is uh, kind of the main thing the main priority just water so we can plant some food and get some wheat growing and potentially some animals okay I see water down here oh what is this some stone bricks down there as well okay so this is my kind of favorite kind of area at the moment but I think temporarily we could just build down here near some water we'll set up a little farm just near the water and uh, then we can start kind of like developing ourselves and pushing ourselves up into the main region we can also build like a bridge over there or maybe stairs I think this would be a great place to start off in so uh, what I'm gonna do have I got a hoe yes I have okay I'm gonna hoe all of this area and then we're gonna go and grow, grab some seeds and uh, start getting ourselves some wheat sorted out because that's one thing we need you know bread always useful and hopefully we'll find some cows or some mobs around here should be enough at the moment grab all of this I'm going to be really unlucky and I'm not going to get any seeds. There we go. One seed so far. There's not too much grass around here. There's a bit of uh, sugarcane though. That will always be useful. Um, let's grab this. Okay, so then you've got the mountain over there. I'm going to have to keep eating up, otherwise I'm not going to be able to run. It's going to take too long. Uh, let's pop these in here. grab some of this okay <laughs> so we're getting seeds slowly but surely but not too many It'd be good if there was loads of grass around unfortunately there's not this is a little bit tedious we just need to grab some seeds you know we've got to get some bread going got to get a nice little uh, food source okay nine that'll do that'll do for the moment let's uh, head back over here I kind of want to stay over there because uh, there's all these kind of mountains and I'd love to build around there somewhere okay where did I hold this ground where somewhere up here yes okay perfect just there so let's plant all of these there are quite a few mushrooms around here as well so that will give us another food source but uh, let's place place all of these guys I need to get myself some coal as well because uh, we need to start making torches but you know whilst we're here got stone I've got a stone pick and I've got a stone sword I am actually just gonna go for it and start mining down see if we can find anything what level are we at we are at 63 so we've got a fair few blocks to go down until we get into cave level but uh, there's gonna be hopefully a lot of stuff down here and it shouldn't be too hard to bump in and find some iron and uh, the sort of things that we're gonna need to start getting developed and start finding new things so let's pop down here Okay, a little bit of strip mining. I'm not going to mine down. I don't want to die. <laughs> I've done that far too many times and ended up dying. So uh, I'm not going to do that. Just going to have to punch this gravel. This is all going to drop down as well. Ah, gravel is so annoying. Is that... This is a tree into the... Okay, that's so weird. There's a tree... There's a tree just growing into the ground, um, and some of its leaves are down there. That's quite funky. As I said, custom-built maps. So there's going to be loads of cool little things like this. I'm just going to keep going down. Uh, maybe a little bit dark for you guys. It's going to be pretty dark for me as well, but uh, I need to find some coal. It's not coal, is it? Okay. I can't really see anything. Let's keep going. See what we can find. I just want to say... If you guys are enjoying, yes, iron. Okay, that is that is a big deal. We've got some iron, finally. It's taken a while, <laughs> but finally we have got some iron. But the only thing is, we're not going to be able to smelt that if we don't have any coal. So uh, hopefully we can grab some coal. All right, loads of iron here. That's going to be very useful. And uh, that is just what we need. Okay, the next priority now is just coal to smelt this. We could use wood, could use wood, but uh, that would just take forever. Okay, what is this? Is this... What the? What is this? Is this a... 
Okay, this is insane. Wow. This is like an underground forest. Okay, this is a, a, another thing that basically... I obviously know that the, uh, the server is custom made, but there are all these quirky little things. I can't see very well, uh, unfortunately. I don't want to drop down there. I'm going to lose a few hearts if I do. But uh, I think this might be an underground forest, which is absolutely awesome. If this is a thing, uh, I'm pretty excited to explore this. Okay, let's hop down here. Hop down there. I really need some light. You know what, I might just... Okay, what I'm going to do, just just for a, like a temporary light source... I've got a furnace here, okay, perfect. I'm going to put a furnace down, and uh, I'll just I don't know, I'll start smelting some... St Actually, I'll start trying to smelt the iron just with wood. And that should give us a bit of light. Wow, look at this. This is like a, a crevasse. Got some more iron here, but uh, it's got trees growing within it, which is absolutely awesome. Wow, look at all of this. Absolutely insane. Uh, just before I forget to say, if you guys are enjoying, make sure to leave a thumbs up. It always helps to uh, have some feedback. And uh, make sure to leave a comment down below if you're enjoying the series or anything you would like to see me do. But uh, let's grab some of this stuff. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, loads of iron as well, which will be very useful. Looks like we're going to be able to start making ourselves some iron gear within this episode. So that is perfect. That is exactly what we needed uh, just to start getting ourselves slightly developed. Um, let's grab some of this. But unfortunately, no coal at the moment, which is a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to keep smelting with wood. Okay, wow, look at all of this. So much iron. This uh, should give us a fair few tools and a bit of iron gear as well. Okay, let's may as well grab all of these whilst they're here. And uh, then let's jump back up. Where did I put the... There I did. Okay. So it goes to show that uh, oak isn't too good at smelting stuff. I'll take a little bit of that out. It's not very efficient. But whilst that's nice and light there, we should should go and have a look around and uh, see if we can find any coal. But look at all of this. There may even be some diamonds hidden under here. And there's a water source there as well. This is so, so cool. And no mobs as well, which is pretty useful. Uh, I'm going to have a look. Still trying to search for iron. Let's... Uh, Let's place these down, make another crafting table, and make another furnace, just because oh, I need some light desperately and I can't see anything so dark. Um, let's place this down here, and uh, place some wood in, and I'm just going to, may as well just stick some stone in there. We need to be quick, it looks like the majority of this is just dirt. Um... So it's all just dirt. This is really strange. So we got we've got a load of iron, but we just need to find coal. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep moving my furnace. I think maybe I don't know why I'm doing that with a hoe. Um, grab this. I don't know the best the best direction to head in. Possibly just have a look around the trees. I'll place my furnace down when I think I found a good area to look in. Uh, yes, okay, finally. Finally, we've got ourselves some coal, which will uh, help us out. That's only one block, though. One block of coal. That's going to get us four torches. We kind of need a little bit more than four torches. I guess it's permanent light, though, uh, which will be fairly useful. Okay, all right, that's fine. I'm going to put that in here. Grab a stick and get ourselves four torches. Uh, we can place these down, hopefully find a little bit more coal whilst we're at it. Okay, let's put this in here. All right, so we get our way through this tree. This is so such a cool little idea. I would never have thought of an underground forest. Um, and lapis and some more coal. Okay, perfect. So we're finding coal slowly but surely and, uh, yeah, getting ourselves stuff to start smelting our iron with and lapis also for enchanting in the future I don't think I can mine that with a stone pick so I'm going to have to head over grab the iron that uh, I smelted before Let's put that there can't remember where I came from now this is a little bit worrying 
No, it wasn't here. Definitely wasn't there. I'm going to get rid of that. Somewhere over in this direction, a lot of different routes. Uh, pretty confusing. I think it's over here somewhere. Let's place that there as well. And uh, let's pop up. Okay, perfect. So, oh, I walked right past a huge block of coal. I don't know how I managed to do that. But uh, our iron is all smelting up. And uh, yeah, let's grab some of this. Let's grab this until our stone pickaxe wears out. Then we'll smelt the rest of the iron. And uh, I'm going to make myself some iron tools and iron gear. And then we can go on the hunt for some diamonds. If we could find diamonds before the end of this episode, that would really change things up. Wow, no way. Two emeralds in the second episode of this series. Wow. Two emeralds next to each other as well. That is a hugely rare drop. No way. Is that going to be a quad of emeralds? Okay. I'm quite excited now. Let's uh, let's put these in here. I'm going to make a few more torches whilst I'm at it. More iron down there. Okay, let's go and have a look at these emeralds. This is absolutely awesome. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where did I put all the... I thought I had my coal on me. No, I put it, sorry, I put it all in the furnace. Don't know what I'm doing. Let's, uh, let's pop over here. Grab this coal. And uh, make ourselves a few more torches. That's what we need. Perfect. And uh, let's go and grab some of this. I'm also going to quickly make a pickaxe, just so I can mine that. Which is what I meant to do to start off with. Uh, and look at this. Is this a quad drop of emeralds? Oh, no way, is that eight? I'm, I've got to type this in the chat. Uh, I think everyone else would be pretty excited by this as well. Eight emeralds in a block. It is actually eight emeralds in a block. This is absolutely awesome. Okay, so let's grab this coal, and uh, I'm going to jump straight in. I may as well grab these guys. Look at this. This is kind of next level awesome. Something I've never seen. Wow. Okay, nine emeralds in a block. This is insane. We found emeralds before we found diamonds, which is kind of crazy. And some gold as well. Okay, this is an awesome place. We need to watch out for these uh, kind of tree underground forests. They have got a load of ores. But you know what? Before I do anything stupid, I may as well make myself... Two iron swords, just in case. And also, what am I not going to need? I don't need a bowl at the moment. And uh, also, I'm going to make myself full iron gear. There's a lot of iron around, so we should be able to go and grab that. Throw these bowls out just for the time being. And uh, let's make ourselves a chest plate, a helmet. Let's equip that. And uh, leggings and then boots. So we've got a load of gear. And uh, actually, we've got some iron left over as well. And more left in the cave that we haven't mined yet. So that's perfect. This is absolutely awesome. And you know what? I can't remember exactly where I came down. Somewhere up here. Um, so we were just going to have to block our, block ourselves out. Uh, you know, just block up and get out. But I, you know what? I'm not going to head up for the rest of this episode. I may as well just continue exploring this cave. Look at these. This is absolutely insane. I, I don't think I've ever found... Well, I've found on a, on a series, I've found emeralds. But nine at once, that's that's never happened to me. Obviously going to be something to do with the custom built server. But that is absolutely awesome. I can't believe that we found all of those. I'm going to make a chest as well. Something that we need. May as well store my stuff here. And uh, let's, let's pop these emeralds in. Don't want to lose these guys. Especially if I die. And guys... Make sure to write down these coordinates just in case anything serious goes or serious happens. Uh, so I've noted those down. All right, let's put those in there. What else do I not need at the moment? I'm going to equip the boots. Um, I just may as well get rid of all of these blocks for the time being. Put that there. And uh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so a couple more minutes. We're going to have a bit more of a look around. Uh, may as well grab the coal, you know, always useful. Even though we've got some now, we need torches and uh, we need we need coal for smelting, so always useful. I'm not going to grab all of it at the moment, though. We're going to go for a couple more minutes and see what else we can find. But you know what? I am determined that we can find diamonds now. If we found that many emeralds, I think diamonds are going to be lurking around pretty close. There's some gold there as well. Only one ore. 
Okay, so there's a bit more, even more emeralds. This is just next level. I wish you could make emerald pickaxes. That would really change things up. Look at this. This is just crazy. Emeralds are spawning like ironwood. That is next level. I can see more iron over there. Uh, I've got eight torches. I've got a load more coal as well, so that's not really a problem. Um, I'm just going to have to explore all these areas. I'll light up the bits that I have actually explored. Okay, let's get up out of here. Put a torch there. Look at all of this. This is insane. More gold. This is an awesome cave. You know what, guys? I think, I think I'm just going to have to explore all of the options here. There's no point in leaving now. Look at look at all of this stuff. So many different things. So many different ores. And uh, finally, we're actually finding stuff. It was quite hard starting off just because the server's so big, so many things to do. But look at this. So there we go, people. I'm going to end it up here um, and start the next episode right in this cave uh, with all these crazy amount of ores. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for loads more Minecraft. Um, the next episode will be coming very soon, so I hope you guys hang around and uh, stick around to see that. And thanks for watching, people. I'll see you in the next one.